Hi guys, it's Asa Kapu. Okay, I'm going to use my 3D, 3D Christmas tree here for the... So this is going to be my a fifth ornament, 12 day of Christmas ornament, ornament going to be day 5. So this came in a pack like this. Okay, so what you do is... You... So this is a great size to make the, your own ornament. I just simply love this guy. Seriously, I do. This. So I'm gonna use only one for my project. So that because if I do three, it's gonna take longer time. So I don't want it to take too long. So I'm gonna use these two pieces. You either want to use the paper, cover with the paper. Or you want to paint it, okay? So I think I'm gonna have because we have to use something to you know the string so that I can hang on my Christmas tree. But right now. I think I'm going to glue it first. So I don't think I'm gonna use any paper. I'm gonna use my wood glue here. Right there and then I might get the glue out there. So this again is a good way for you to create it with your kids, you know. So you can do your own personal ornament. Oh, this one is it for the part. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, today I went to uh to look at my the thing for my craft room. My husband got, you know. What a good sink. So this one actually dry, and I'm going to start painting. So I'm not sure what kind of color I'm going for. I think I'm gonna go with pink, I guess. So we're going to paint the white first, and then I can start to paint the color later. You know, I like to premiere my stuff first before I go to the next color. You can do all the white, you know, all the white, you know, and you the glitter on this, make it all white, snowy stuff. So I'm gonna paint this the whole thing. You know, when you have a kid, they all, you know, when you have a little kid, they, they are sort of like uh, excited for, you know, the holiday, Christmas, so they're wanting to do, you know, the ornament to hang on the tree. I think this is a, you know, great way to do this with your kid, okay? Not, not yet excited about Christmas so well after Thanksgiving you probably be excited by then when people start to put the Christmas tree up and he love to see the Christmas light
I'm gonna let this one dry and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I'm gonna use this hydrant pink here that I'm going to paint. I guess I'm going between blue and pink, blue and pink. <laughs> I love this. You, if you do this with your, you know, daughter, granddaughter, you will have a lot of fun guys painting this. They will love that guy, seriously. Because this, I can tell that Cody will love to do it, guy. It's so pretty guys, I just love this guy. This is so pretty. Never imagine, guys, okay, when you look back on this, you do this with your kids and still hang on a tree. You know, when they were little, you used to do this with them. That is awesome, guys. Okay, I love this pink. So I will let this one dry and open. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I have the spray love over here. I think I'm going to have to trim. I'll use some pieces, okay. I use that part of the board. This the bird can be twit, I guess. No. Yep. So I'm going to glue that bird. Right there. I'm gonna add some cherry blossom. Just add some flower guys to add more to on the project. Not really prepare for this guys. I do apologize. I get that one, I'm going to put only one right there and this one I think I'm going to let's see if can do this one right there so I'm going to glue this piece first and then put that one right there a little bit too long. I want to hide the bottom right there guys. See I want to push that corner. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this two side yet but now, if you do this with your kids you can let them do whatever they want.
and after you done let the kid write the name on it so that's my Cody name or whatever name and the year when they made that's be so cute I'm gonna use this one not showing you any sentiment is I didn't put any lace on this. You know, my project not always that good, but it's okay. I just love making them. Yep, no one has to like it, it's just me, I guess. If you can like it, it'd be great. Right, but it's your project, you know. So, and then you should, you know, poke that hole and put the thread on it and hang on a tree. I think I'm gonna add some this stickle here, the distress stickle, the pink one here. Hmm I'm just gonna add on this the tree guy. I want to make like a it's snow I guess so I'll put on the curb right there I'm gonna lay this one edge dry this will take a little while to dry this I need to punch that hole. Oh well, I've got. I'm not sure that I can punch the hole yet, but you don't make mistake like me, guys. Yeah, you guys might do better than me. I'm pretty sure. That's really unique. Your ornament for Christmas tree, you guys. So, I think I like it, guys. That's it, my um, twenty of Christmas ornament project day five. Thank you, everyone, for keep watching, and I'll see you guys. So, don't forget to punch the hole on the top. hang on your Christmas tree um, I get I can use this so the uh, double lap yeah I can use this and I punch the hole right there so or I don't have to punch the hole I use glue it hot glue actually you punch the hole first before you put this together, these two together you should punch that hole and then put that one in there mine must be more easier than right now because 
I have a hard time finding my crocodile face. What I want to do is add more glitter to it. Here we go. That it looks pretty gay. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god, this is so pretty. He kind of sees sparkling. I just love it gay. Love it. So you just punch the hole before you put this together. Okay. So, then I forgot that one. I also figured out how to do that. Okay. Alright, that's it guys. Thank you everyone for keep watching. I'll see you guys next video. Bye bye.